this year I got myself an ASOS advent calendar. So in that package was my advent calendar, my chocolate advent calendar. My nose piercing fell out. Hello guys and welcome to Vlogmas. But not as you know it, I will not be vlogging every day. There is no way I have the capacity to even do that. I don't even have the capacity to film my normal like once a week videos. So I thought I would just do is make like weekly vlogs instead. Um, because there will be some Christmas activity happening so that would be fun. And of course I'll be talking about books because why not? This is a bookish channel. But before I start talking about books, I'm going to talk about some advent calendars. Um, and no, I will not be building ooh, Amazon delivery. Right, so that's right, that is an Amazon order, but not the Amazon order that I thought it was. I'm getting a new hard drive for my laptop because <laughs> I will show you guys later the storage capacity that my laptop has. And it's because of my videos and also the videos I take when I'm at the gym. Not because I'm like some filmographer for the gym, but anyway. I said I would talk about all the battery splashing um, advent calendars. This year I got myself an ASOS advent calendar. I have had one of these before, not last year, probably not the year before. I think it was the year before that because it was definitely when I was in London. I didn't get one last year because I was unemployed and buying advent calendars was not a priority on the list. This is what I got in the advent calendar. It is a Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Glacier Water. Um, you know, I don't know if you can going to be able to see it. No, my camera does not like. Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. Um, so yeah, this one from ASOS was £75. I watched... So I know... I know what's in this. I watched the video where the woman like sort of unpacked it all. All I can remember is there's a full size Mac Ruby Woo lipstick in there. I watched it in October and I bought this in October so I have no idea about the rest of them. But I know there are other ones from like Look Fantastic and M&S which were more expensive than ASOS ones and I was watching what they had in them and I was like I don't really want any of them over the ASOS ones so yeah £75 is still steep but it's much cheaper than all of the other ones. And I got this for my boyfriend, which is a vodka one, um, and it's just mini, it's just miniatures of vodka every single day. Um, this one I think was about ninety nine pounds, and the reason why <laughs> me spend ninety nine pound on advent calendar, the reason why is because I didn't get him an advent calendar last year, or maybe the year before, and he always gets me an advent calendar. So okay, so my boyfriend came in while I was talking about it, but you get these little miniatures. What was I saying? Oh no, I was saying, because I hadn't bought him an advent calendar like two years and he always gets me an advent calendar, I thought I would just like school him and get him an advent calendar. It's funny that I didn't tell him how much it cost and I showed him how much my ASOS one cost and he was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, you don't want to know how much the other one costs. Um, so yeah, every single month, I think this goes up to 24 days, there will be some sort of different flavoured vodka. I keep pulling this out of the thing. This one is meant to be stock, stolly gold vodka. See if that will focus. Okay, this is the vodka for day one. Okay, so in that package was my advent calendar, my chocolate advent calendar, which is a lint one, so yay! I never really got advent calendars as a kid, so getting advent calendars as an adult was very nice. I actually wanted the MS white blonde one that they were doing. But I both forgot, which is fine, because I forgot on my two years in a row. So yeah, I'm looking forward to opening the rest of my advent calendars. I don't know that every day I'll be like opening them because I don't know how interesting that will be for you. But yeah, like I said, I think I'm gonna do a bit of reading now. Actually, I am currently reading White Rage. Um, it is now the first of December, obviously. So I was reading this in non-fiction November, but I didn't read it in time. Uh, but I'm really enjoying it, so I'm going to read this a little bit of this, then have dinner, and then go to the gym. Because I just really want to go to the gym. Our car is broken, and usually I go to the gym in the morning, um, when I can get myself up, and obviously when my insomnia is kicking my butt. But our car is broken, so <laughs> I'm not going to the gym at 6 in the morning, or half 6 in the morning. 
and having to walk there, I fear for my safety. Like, obviously, going at night at, like, 7 is not too bad. Like, I can get the bus and stuff, but in the morning, the bus does not work the same way as it does in the evening, so that's why. So these are my plans. shown up on the camera but as I started to film that video like I'd literally been like hey guys welcome to my channel my nose piercing fell out like I don't know if you guys have noticed but I can't you nose I can't pick nose piercing um I was actually gonna say it like in one of when I wrapped up this video be like have you guys noticed I got my nose pierced and legitimately it fell out <laughs> uh, so that was fun but yeah I, I don't know what time it is now I don't know what time is it it is 4.35 and yeah, got up early today, went to go see a friend and have a baby and then we did a food shop and then we came home so I was like right I've got loads of time so I was going to film my non fusion November which I have filmed but we got our Christmas tree yesterday which I'm sure I would have even put footage in before or after this, we're going to decorate the tree tonight so that would be really exciting and of course I will take some clips for that. So in regards to reading, I've started listening to a book called Loathe at First Sight by Suzanne Park. It'll show you, it's not going to show, so I'll just put it up on the screen on this side. Um, guys, I'm very close to DNF in this book, and it's a combination of two things, and perhaps if I was reading it I might be less inclined to DNF it, but I would still th be thinking about DNF in it. So, the first reason I'm DNF in it is this main character, this character that we're playing, she's hella annoying. Like, I don't know why she's so salty and, like, horrible to everyone. I don't know why, but you know, sometimes you can read unlikable characters and you're like, fine. But I don't like unlikable characters who, who whine about the fact that everyone else is an arsehole. Because then you're just like, but you're also an arsehole, and I get if you really knew you were an arsehole, but like, unlikable characters sometimes just, you know, describe people in horrible ways, but they're not like, oh my god, this person is so mean and stuff like that. And that's what this character is like, it's so annoying, like I just don't understand. And this book is about, her name is Melody, and she is... Korean so yeah I think both my parents are American Korean and <laughs> anyway I'm not listening but I was gonna say she's American Korean and she works in the gaming industry so you know it's meant to have that sort of um difference in the fact that you know it's, it's gonna be a contemporary romance but it's also a woman you know a, a POC in an industry where they don't have a lot of women this has potential to be really great guys maybe it's because i've never worked not even in an industry that's heavily run by men but just i've never worked in a company where people speak the way these people are speaking because i'm just like i don't know what company would allow that to fly like me i'd be like hello hr the things that are being said i'm just like i think people in frat school but then i do feel like sometimes in america when i watch american tv shows anyway there's this sort of bro culture and i just feel like even though there's that sort of bro culture in the UK, I just don't know that any of them would be bold enough to say that because 
you'd be on HR's doorstep. Um, and I'm not saying that's the case for everything, but I just, I can't believe what is being said. And I just feel like it's being over egged and I just don't like it. The second reason why I don't like this is I hate the narrator that's doing it. Um, clearly this narrator is great because this narrator is able to do Korean accents, um, the way she talks in the men's voices and things like that, and then do American accents. I just hate the way she speaks for some of the guys, like they just sound so fucking stupid. And also when she's voicing for the main character, it sounds really robotic sometimes, but then other times it's got this flow of American like accent and you're just like, what's going on? Like. I'm listening to it and I just feel like, have I got this, like, it sounds robotic but then also a bit sped up, so I'm like, have I got this sped up? I don't have it sped up. It's really weird. But yeah, so I'm really close to like DNF in it. I actually, the reason why I started listening to it, and maybe this um, narrator is actually Korean, because I was going to say, I don't know how I feel about that, but like, that's <laughs> not my problem. I'm sure the company like vetted it for, um, for those purposes but looking at the books that she's narrated on script they also seem to be books that are by like i don't know if they're korean authors but yeah i don't know maybe they are also korean authors but a mix between the actual story and also i because i'm using listening to an audiobook i have the added annoyance of the voices of the different characters it's annoying there are no likeable characters really in there. there's one character i think you're supposed to like who is her friend and you're just like do i really like her and you get to one point they've all gone for dinner and stuff like that and something happens so her and her friend are in the bathroom for 30 minutes they come out and then the main character is like you know we were only in the bathroom for 30 minutes you just left the middle of a dinner party <laughs> to go and console your friend or whatever which is fine but you could have just popped back out in 10 minutes and been like oh really sorry guys or whatever yeah you just didn't come back and i get someone should have also come and checked in on her but the other character but you know would have been the only girl is a horrible person she's not the kind of person to do that so it's just these little things like you spend half an hour in the bathroom with someone's engagement party and you don't think they might be pissed i just and she's there like i can't believe they left and i'm just a bit like yeah, I can believe the left. Everyone's being hella rude, but you already knew she was rude, and actually you guys were being quite rude. There was literally no reason why they stayed there for half an hour. Like, I don't want to spoil what happens in the book and why they're in there, but after the initial thing, they could have come back out. So it's looking like a DNF for me, but I will explain more about why I am listening to this book perhaps a little bit later. <laughs>
done. I have been editing this video and realised that I didn't actually um, do an outro for it. I could have just left it as a Christmas bit, but there are two things I want to say. Um, the first one is, obviously my Christmas tree is not fully like decorated. The Christmas tree was netted as you would have seen, so we didn't know the size of the Christmas tree and obviously the decorations we have clearly are not enough for a very big tree like this and the tree is huge. Um, so I have been today to get some like Christmas decorations and stuff, so that will be in day, not day two, in week two's vlog. And the also thing I just wanted to say is please ignore the high levels of VPL when I'm decorating the tree. Obviously I was just chilling at home and I know no one will care but I've seen it and I have to speak on it even though I'm also like, no one cares if I saw it in someone else's video I'd just be like cool. But obviously the underwear and the tracksuit bottoms was just not, not the match but whatever. The reason why I say it as well is because I had to watch my clips back in real time and obviously I've sped them up in the vlog watching them in real time I'm like oh my god especially because all you can see is my ass um, so yeah but thank you guys so much for watching vlogmas week one and I will catch you in vlogmas week two